Hi everyone. Today I will show you how to use uh, Smartphone 4 Sync app and uh, change name and uh, passcode for Bluetooth modules BT909 and BT630. So, uh, in order to make uh, this setup work, you need one of the Bluetooth modules from Physicom. This is two Bluetooth modules I recommend uh, uh, to use with my app. And this is uh, BT909 and BT630, which is literally three times smaller than a BT909. Uh, the smaller one is great for uh, installs where the bigger one doesn't fit, but in most cases I recommend to use the uh, BT909 module because it has uh, just better signal strength and uh, works much better. So, follow instructions, manual. Uh, for wiring, make sure wiring is correct. Make sure RX and TX wires are correctly um, connected. So RX from CFX or from other soundboard goes to TX uh, pin on the Bluetooth module and TX pin on CFX goes to RX pin on Bluetooth module. This is very important. So here I have CFX soundboard without a uh, hilt for now and uh, Saber with the profi board installed. So, so if you don't have this app installed go to App Store search for force sync this app and install it or if it's already installed go ahead and open it and if bluetooth is turned off it says it's turned off Let's go ahead and turn it on. Now app searches for available uh, Bluetooth modules. In app settings you can set, make sure to set FSC module. This is set by default and uh, this is the recommended Bluetooth module to use. So here we have our CFX soundboard and profi board uh, soundboard and the other saber. Let's start with the profi board. So click connect. If you connect it to to it the first time, it will ask you for a passcode. You type it in and connect, and you choose profi board. Here you can see battery level in voltage and percentage. You can list presets, see all your available presets on this profi board. You can remote control it. Play all sound effects. Change volume, in real time, play music, and switch between presets.
in the pro app version it will also have a bit more features for profibot it will, I will I want to add uh, music custom music tracks and uh, maybe color changing changing if uh, the official profiles will all of it so now we can connect to CFX connect CFX it will also ask for a passcode if you connect to it the first time but the second time you connect um, it will remember the passcode and don't ask you won't ask you so let's let's simulate it I can go to settings on my iPhone go Bluetooth and in my devices list I have this um, sabers remembered so I can go to info can go to info and forget this device now return to forcing app connect to CFX and it will ask for a passcode so I type the passcode uh, six digits so I guess it's zero 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 pair and yes it's done so the next time I connect to it it doesn't ask for a passcode so I choose CFX and it's here the main menu uh, in the pro app uh, it will of course have all functionality but for now for light app it only has remote control <clears throat> in general we have a few volume settings and blade color so let's start with remote control uh, it doesn't work because suffix went into sleep mode to wake it press this um, reset button it resets and now you can turn it on it also play various uh, sound effects change volume in general also you can change volume and blade color you set uh, the LED color order you have wired to your CFX to LED channels 1, 2, 3 and 4 by default it's RGB, so red, green, blue and white for channel 4. This is the default one for new pixel setup. But if you have a tri -cree setup, let's say uh, red, red, blue, you just uh, set it to red, red, blue or uh, green, blue red or green blue blue or green blue white so you have a green led on channel one blue on channel two and white on channel three you hit set and you have um, these sliders for channels now matching your color scheme but we have RGB here for new pixel setup. So we set RGB and by 
turning this color wheel we change accurately the color of your blade you can accurately fine tune any color you want So on the color wheel you have a maximum bright brightness, uh, maximum saturated colors. But if you want for instance something more whitish, something um, more pastel looking, so for instance you want uh, purple but with a bit of whitish mix you just uh, turn red and blue channels to maximum and add a green channel and of course if you set all three channels to maximum you will get a pure white color but if you lower down some one of these three channels you will get a specific uh, whitish color for instance whitish yellow and so forth really easy to use and uh, super flexible if you have a fourth channel which isn't controlled by the color wheel you can just uh, set it manually by the slider so now I want to show you how how to set Bluetooth names so of course you can have your custom uh, names here for your for each of your sabers. Uh, you can do it for uh, BT909 and for BT630 modules. But uh, that you purchased from the custom saber shop or Kaya sabers. These are two places I recommend to order from because uh, only they sell pre-configured uh, modules for use with in sabers if you, you can buy them uh, directly from physicam company on alibaba but they won't be pre-configured and uh, you will need to pre-configure them yourself by at commands so if you want to if you don't want to mess with it just buy from the custom saber shop or the cash sabers and you are good to go so to change uh, ah yes and for BT 630 the smallest Bluetooth model um, you can't change name and passcode uh, in older module versions you can only do it uh, with the latest modules that have a firmware uh, 2.0 uh, version so keep that in mind and if you can't uh, set up name and passcode with bluetooth uh, bt 630 then you can directly contact me on Facebook and I will guide you through firmware update for it. So let's go ahead and open uh, FizzyBlue app. It's an official app from Physicom, the company who makes these two Bluetooth modules. And you need to go to, you can also download it in App Store. So you go to settings tab parameter modification and here uh, these top two lines device name and pairing code 
These are useful for BT909 and BT630. So let's change to, uh, let's say, Romeo. And pairing code, let's say, one, two, three, four, five, six. So now you need to check this switch next to the name first or to the pairing code first, but only one at a time. Hit start and choose your Bluetooth module. So either for the for this saber or for the for the CFX one. Let's start with the my Jedi Killer Saber with Profi Board. I click on it and it says with green text name is changed. Uh, so now you need to switch off the name and switch on pairing code. So, uh, hit start again and select your Bluetooth module again. It says name Pericom doesn't isn't changed. Maybe because it's same. Let's try all all six digits uh, number one. Start No, it doesn't want to change. Maybe I need to forget this device and pair it. Let's unpair both modules. Forget device. Back to the fizzy blue and try again. Ah, now it wants me to pair it. Okay, I think the, the issue is that uh, for this line pairing code you can send only four digits because uh, BT909 has uh, two name settings and two Bluetooth settings. One is for SPP mode and the second one is for Bluetooth low energy mode. SPP mode works with uh, Bluetooth 2.0, 3.1 so this is the older generation Bluetooth uh, which works with the official Plector Labs uh, RISE programs on PC but iPhones don't work in this mode, they work in Bluetooth low energy mode, which is version 4.0 and higher. So it's Bluetooth low energy. And this pairing code line is only for SPP mode, so let's try four digits. This pairing code for digits you will need uh, when you pair with your RISE program on PC. So let's try to change it. Didn't want. Maybe I type in the wrong passcode. Uh, let's connect with for sync. Or maybe it changed it. Changed. Here we go. Yeah, it's changed. Okay, so looks like uh, Fizzy Blue app 
changes the passcode but for some reason maybe it's a bug so it doesn't display correctly uh, the process of changing it it says error but still it changes well so same uh, thing for BT630 but if you want to change uh, Bluetooth name for for sync app on iPhone you need to set a new parameter which is called AT plus layer name so you can write here custom parameters you write layer name and here you write your new name let's make it Julia also turn this switch on hit start and let's change it for say fix module what is going on okay now it's changed so let's get back to the for sync app and see the, if the name is changed to take few seconds or about a minute to change the name or a few connections just connect to the model and disconnect it we can see that Cfix model name is changed to Juliet but the second one Jedi Killer isn't changed because we said the Romeo name for this module uh, in this top device name line uh, and it's for the SPP mode only which isn't displayed on iPhones it will be only displayed when you connect to it uh, from your computer to use with Plex Labs RISE programs so to make it change for iPhones so in Bluetooth Low Energy mode you need to set the same name here for the LE name so let's type Romeo again and we can add LE letters just to know uh, in which mode the Bluetooth module operates so we can we will see Romeo LE on iPhones and on Android and just Romeo on your computer or you can leave to sim make two similar names so let's change it for this Jedi killer Saber And connect, disconnect, and we'll update. It will update. Yes, it's updated. So, this is how you change name and passcode or PIN for FSC Bluetooth modules. Uh, for now you can only do it uh, in Fizzy Blue app, but uh, in the in my coming Pro app for Sync app that is coming soon later this year, I'm adding name and passcode changing to the app directly, so it will be displayed here, and you can easily change these parameters directly inside the for sync app and you don't need any other uh, other bluetooth apps 
to operate with your lightsaber. So everything will be done within one app. So that's about it and thanks for watching and may the force be with you.